Okay, so your computer's been infect this, infected with this uh, safe finder. It can come up as a, uh, it re basically re redirects your browser to uh, search.safefinder.com or it could be isearch.safefinder.com. It's the same thing, it's a browser hijacker and I'm gonna show you how to manually remove it on Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Mozilla Firefox. So first thing is first, you want to go into your control panel, go into your add remove programs. Now there's a couple things in here that we want to do, okay? Now the thing is, uh, this safe finder could be under a different name as well, but first thing you want to look for is look under here. Anything to do with any of these words here? Safe finder, eye search, search, protect, search protect, saver, can do it. It can be under several of these names. If you have any of these in there, go ahead and uninstall them. Some of you may not have any of these in there, but if you have any of these in there, go ahead and uninstall it. Once you do that, you go ahead and open up your browser. Now I'm gonna start off with Google Chrome, and then I'm gonna continue with IE and then Firefox. So Google Chrome, you're in Google Chrome now. Top right hand corner, you wanna go into settings, click on this three bar prong, or it might be a wrench depending on what version of Chrome you're using. Go down to settings. From here, you want to look at four different places. First place is on startup. Click on here. Make sure that safe finder is not in here. If it is, highlight it, click on X, and then you can go ahead and make your own um, google.com or whatever you want. Now remember, you may have it in here in some places, you may not. If you have it in here, get rid of it. Now check under here, under change. You have it on here, go ahead and exit out. Now down here where it says manage search engine, most of you will have it in here. If you see the safe finder anywhere in here, click on X. Something else you don't know what it is, click on the X. You can see I have my google.com is on my default. It's highlighted, it's bold in bold. If you want to make another one, uh, your default, you just highlight it and click on make default. And then that'll become bold. Now my yahoo.com is in bold. Now last but not least, we want to scroll all the way down to the very bottom here and where it says uh, show advanced settings, we're going to click on that. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom, it says reset browser settings. This is the last step. Now once we do this uh, reset, don't forget guys, you are going to lose your favorites, your history, it's going, to, it's going to clear everything. Basically it's going to be like a new install of Google Chrome. Once you click on reset, follow the steps to continue the reset close and reopen Google Chrome and you guys should be good to go. Now let's move on to Internet Explorer. Okay, so Internet Explorer is open, top right hand corner again, you see this wrench, you might have a three bar prong depending on what version you're using. And first place we are going to go to is, we are going to go to Manage Add-ons. And we're going to look in here, if you see Smart Finder in here, under Tools and Extension, get rid of it. Then click on Service Providers, same thing here. If you see it, go ahead and remove it, disable it, or deactivate it. Now next spot, same thing again, top right hand corner, click on that little wrench, and this time we're going to go to Internet Options. From here, look at your home page, make, make sure that Safe Finder is not in here. Either you can use the default, or you can put your own google.com in here, whatever you want. Last step, we want to reset the browser, click on Advanced. And then down here where it says reset, click on reset. And then you want to make sure this is checked here. Now don't forget, once we reset this, you're going to lose everything. Everything, your uh, your book bookmarks, your favorites, um, your history, everything is going to be gone. It's going to be like a new install. Once you click on reset, follow the prompts, then close and reopen IE and you should be good to go. Now let's go with Mozilla Firefox. Okay, Mozilla Firefox, uh, on the top or on the menu bar where it says tools here, if you don't have this, uh, this menu up here, just simply just right click somewhere, and let me take that off, just right click up here, and then click on menu bar, and this menu bar will pop up, we want to go to tools, and we want to go to add-ons, go to add-ons, look in extensions here, if you see anything to do with Smart Finder, get rid of it, disable it, remove it, whatever you can do. Same thing with appearance. Anything in here with State Finder, anything you're not familiar with, get rid of it. Same thing with plugins. Anything in here you're not familiar with, go ahead and remove it or deactivate it. Uninstall it. Next area. 
Again, click on Tools, and we're going to go down to Options this time. And then from here, make sure the General tab is clicked. Make sure your home page is the home page that you want. You don't want it to be State Finder. Next place, last place, is we want to reset the browser. Or I'm sorry, we need to go to um, Manage Search Engine. So what you can do is on the same page here, you can see this little down arrow. You can click on that and go to the very bottom. It says Manage Search Engines. Here you go. Anything that you're not familiar with, State Finder, whatever, just highlight it. Click on Remove. Now the last step, we want to reset it. So again, top menu here, we want to click on Help now, and we want to go to Troubleshooting Information. From here, top right hand side, it says Reset Firefox. Now don't forget again, we, once we reset Firefox, we're going to lose everything. Our, our history, our bookmarks, our favorites, passwords, cookies, everything is going to be long gone like a new fresh install. Click on Reset Firefox, follow the prompts, and then close and reopen. You guys should be good to go. If you guys have any questions or anything, comment on the bottom. And one more thing too, if you guys are doing all the steps and you're still getting it, it's very possible you need to look at your shortcut. Look at your short, if you're double clicking on your shortcut on your browser, what you have to do is right click the um, your browser and go to properties and make sure the target is not that statefinder.com. Like for instance, hold on one second. For instance, look at here. Here's this is my shortcut here to my Google Chrome, and you can see the file path is here, application, and then it's going to Google Chrome or the Chrome.exe. It's not going to the State Finder. So, for example, you may have to uh, make your target the actual your actual browser exe file. So, for instance, like um, yeah, if you're using uh, like I Internet Explorer, and I have, I have the, all the descriptions like on the bottom in the descriptions area. So if you have IE, you want to go something like Program Files, Internet Explorer, then iExplorer.exe. Make sure the target is in the right location. So if you guys have questions, just come to the bottom. I'll help you guys get rid of it. Okay, thanks. Bye.